I asked to tick the correct box. Actually, we're not asked for explanations, but it's still worth thinking about things carefully in this question. So we've got the mean of a set of numbers is zero. All the sets are zero. Is that true? Could be true or cannot be true? Well, it definitely could be true because if you found the mean of these numbers, you would definitely get zero. But if you found the mean of these numbers, then you would also get zero. So it is, could be true. Okay, because I found an example where it is true and an example where it isn't true. That's a good plan for this question. Next, we're asked about the sum of the numbers in the set is zero. Well, you can see it is true for both of the ones I've done. Could we get anything else? Now, here's the thing. If you have like five numbers and they sum to say one, there's no way you're going to get zero. You're going to get like one over five. Um, and in general, it's going to be like your sum divided by n equals zero. Now, the only way that that can be true is if the sum is zero. You can't divide by something to get zero. n is a finite number, of course. So actually, this one must be true. And finally, are there as many positive numbers as negative numbers in the set? Well, it is true over here, but uh, let's just play around with it a little bit more. What if I had minus one and minus one, and then zero, and then two? So now I've still got my sum equal to zero, so the mean will be zero, but I have one positive number and two negatives. So it's not necessarily true, but actually here's an example where it was true. So this one is also could be true. Nice question.